In this video, we're going to look at synthesis and decomposition reactions. So a quick definition here, we'll start with decomposition. What decomposition is, we take a complex compound like AB and we break it up into the two elements that make it up A plus B. Now something we need to remember here is that elements are going to exist as a single atom by themselves, such as these examples here, and all these are metals, or as a diatomic gas, the Hober-Finkel gases. So when we go to decompose a compound, we're going to have to think about, do we have a regular metal or do we have a diatomic gas, and adjust our formulas accordingly. So let's take a look. Uh, let's do an equation when sodium chloride decomposes. So the first thing we're going to do is write out our reactant, NaCl, and we're going to break it up into its two elements, Na plus Cl. Step two, we'll consult with the diatomic gas list. Is sodium on it? No. Is chlorine on it? Yes. So we'll make that Cl2. Step three, we'll balance our equation, and we have two chlorines on this side and only one on the left side, so we'll put a two in front, and then that gives us two sodiums on the left, and now we have two on the right. And lastly, we'll name everything sodium chloride, sodium metal, and chlorine gas. The opposite of decomposition is a synthesis reaction. So uh, we've got synthesis would be two elements combining to make one compound, AB. So let's take a look at an example. Aluminum is combining with bromine gas. So we'll write aluminum by itself, and we'll put bromine as a gas. It's a diatomic gas. And so the two elements it's going to make are going to be, well, it's going to be aluminum and bromine combining, and this may or may not be the correct formula. Step two, we're going to have to consult the crossover method uh, to actually figure out if this is the right formula for aluminum bromide. We've got aluminum at plus three, bromine at minus one. And so for a cross over here to figure out the aluminums, the one will come down, and I guess we already do have a one there. You don't need to write ones in. And lastly, if you want to figure out the bromines, we'll cross over the charge of aluminum with three. And so our, in fact, our correct formula of aluminum bromide is AlBr3, which we'll add in. Now we're going to balance. And the tricky part about this one is that we have three bromines on the right and two bromines on the left. Two times three is six. So we want to get six bromines on both sides. So we'll start by putting a 3 in front over here. 3 times 2 gives us 6. And 2 times 3 gives us 6 over here. But now, of course, that gives us two aluminums. I'll put 2 in front of that. Lastly, we'll name everything aluminum metal, bromine gas, and aluminum bromide. Thank you for watching.